Hello, and welcome to another presentation of 5-Minute Cybersecurity. The Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, the world's largest lender in terms of assets, was hit with a cyber attack on Thursday, November 9th. In this presentation, I will discuss how it was accomplished and what was done to recover from it. I am Bill Osilinski, a certified information system security professional with 30 years of experience. The U.S. Financial Services Division of the Chinese bank ICBC was hit with a cyber attack that disrupted the trading of treasuries and took down their email system. Trades had to be executed by USB stick. The attack left the U.S. unit temporarily owing Bank of New York Mellon $9 billion because of unsettled trades. Immediately after discovering the hack, ICBC isolated impacted systems to contain the incident. They have successfully cleared U.S. Treasury trades executed Wednesday and Thursday after paying a ransom in the amount of millions in Bitcoin. The ransomware attack came at a time of heightened worries about the resiliency of the $26 trillion Treasury market, essential to the plumbing of global finance and is likely to draw scrutiny from regulators. It brings cyber threats into sharper focus. It should also boost the Security Exchange Commission's push to have more Treasury trades go through Central Clearing House, where a third party acts as a seller to every buyer and buyer to every seller. The ransomware used is called LockBit 3.0. LockBit 3.0 is a challenge for security researchers because each instance of the malware requires a unique password to run, without which analysis is extremely difficult, if not impossible. LockBit is the most popular strain of ransomware, accounting for around 28% of all known ransomware attacks from July 2022 to June 2023. LockBit is the group behind the software. Its business model is known as ransomware as a service. It effectively sells its malicious software to other hackers, known as affiliates, who then go on to carry out the cyber attacks. That's all for this presentation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.